Do your exhaust look minging? Need some TLC just like these? Well, check this out. You can get exhaust that look pristine, clean, shiny, just like woo, these. Look at that. Beautiful, shiny. And now I'm gonna show you how I do it step by step from start to finish. Now I'm using an iron fallout remover. You can use something like an all purpose cleaner or you can also go in with something like a wheel cleaner. I like to go in with an iron fallout remover because you've got all that brake dust, all those iron particles which are gonna be on the exhaust tips and I'm gonna use that as a good cleaner because it's gonna melt all that stuff away. I've also got various mitts and brushes that I'm gonna to use to agitate. I'm gonna be using a tire and glue product, GTR, because it's close to the road, we're gonna get tar spots, all that bitumen is gonna be from the road, stuck onto the exhaust tip, so we need to remove that as well. It does smell eggy, because it is a good fallout. So all I'm gonna do is let that sit and dwell, it'll start changing color, you can already see it, it's about melting away all that dirt and grime. After a minute or so, I'm gonna then go in contact with my steel wool, because we need to be quite aggressive, because there's a lot of contamination, on these exhaust tips. So this is how I'm going to get them nice and clean like. So I'm gonna be using my barrel brush to really get into those exhaust tips and um, agitate it, like so. Using all the methods and all the positions that you need, you know, to, uh, you know, get the desired results. Don't neglect underneath the tips as well. If you have got a wheel mitt or detail brush, feel free to go in there as well. But basically we wanna agitate and get rid of all the contamination that we've got on these exhaust tips. So we're left with a clean, fresh base to then start polishing. Gonna rinse all that muck away and then we're gonna go in with our tar and glue to remove all these tar spots. Now I've got a great base to work from. Just dry the exhaust tips. So then when we lay our tar and glue on, it's gonna be able to bond to the exhaust tip. It's gonna go in with our tar and glue, just cause we want that chemical to bond to that tar and we don't want it to be mixing with any water. You can start seeing it bleeding. Don't know if you can pick it up on camera. And then we're just gonna wipe away, leaving a perfect base to work from to then start polishing. If you are getting any really super stubborn spots, you can go back in with steel wool and then agitate it that way. If it is super stubborn and it doesn't want to get removed. Everything that I've used in this video will be linked below, so if you want to go and get it, you can, or you can listen to this guy. Now, he's not a bad looking lad now, is he? Directly below this video, there'll be a discount link that you can click, which takes you directly to the EZ Car Care website, so you can go and look at all the different array of products that you can then select. Make sure you click Add to Basket, and just like that, the discount link, Vulpix 10, has automatically been applied. Now, back to the video. Cheers, mate. Removing all that tire and glue, so we've got that good base to work from. And rinse that away. And now I've got a super clean base to work from that you can all do at home. Dead easy to do this. Again, if you don't want to buy all the tools and stuff that I've got here, you can do all this by hand, but it will just take you longer, right? So persevere with it and you will get your clean base results like this before polishing. Final step then is our metal polish using auto salt. This is absolutely brilliant stuff and it's really good priced as well. So all we're gonna do is get a bit of it on our fingers like so and we're gonna massage it onto our exhaust tips. There are loads of metal polishes out there in the market right now, but trust me, this stuff is absolutely brilliant and it's not even that expensive and you can get it anywhere. Now, you can go in for your clean microfiber cloth and buff that away, but for that added bit of shine and to speed up the process, if you do get yourself one of these foam attachments that you can put on any combination drill, honestly, check this out. It'll just speed up the process so much. To prime it, just get a little bit on your fingers, massage it into the foam attachment, like so, and then in we go. So we've got our clean microfiber cloth, get the top of the exhaust tips, 
get in between just go like that and now you're left with very clean very shiny exhaust tips I mean just look at that that's how good that metal polish is brilliant good stuff this if you like this video subscribe like comment i read all the comments and reply to every single one of them personally let us know what videos you want to see and i'll make it happen see you later on the next video